That's my ring! Ah, got you! Got you! Oh. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody in my house. Uh, Toby's, as Toby's asleep, I need to not wake him up. Hold on, I gotta get high. Phenomenal. Don't look. Oh, which one's the light? Good morning, Atlas. Are you okay, bro? Good boy. Good boy. Is that early? It's just getting light outside. <laughs> morning, bro. Massive shout out to Squarespace for helping make today's vlog possible, guys. I appreciate it. I'm knackered. Welcome to the video. <laughs> Oh yeah, guys, by the way, I don't think I've shown you the new car yet. And yeah, new car, check this out. Yeah, I know it looks like my car, but black. No, it's not my car, but black at all. It's got four doors for a start. And it's also a diesel, and my car is not a diesel. Diesel boy. Okay, so don't worry, I haven't crashed the M2. I haven't done anything mental. The M2 is currently having some work done, though. It's currently having some work done on the tyres. I've got a puncture. Um, so I took that in yesterday to get it repaired, and they've actually said I need three new tyres. But this is my loaner car. And all I know is that it's a diesel BMW, and it's absolutely rapid. That's just the way it goes. Well, I've just come to the office, and what is going on? Who's this chap? Live vlog? Why is this even playing? Anyway, okay. Made it to the office. Now, if you didn't catch the last vlog that I did, it might not have been the last one, it might have been the one before the last one. I explained to you guys that I want to move space. Not necessarily move space, but add space to this by essence of the room next door. And the majority of you in the comment section in the last video said, Alex, that sounds like an absolutely great idea, but you said, I didn't give you a good enough look of the room. So what I thought we'd do is we'd go in there now and take a look. So at the moment, I'm currently sat in the set chair at the TechFlow office. Now, if you're living under a rock and you don't know what TechFlow is, it's another channel here on YouTube that I host and run. But essentially, I mean, proofs in the name, it does reviews on tech, right? So if I give you guys a bit more of a look into this room, there's two 1080p screens mounted up here, and these are for the top-down camera that can be mounted up here on this mount, and then when we have a front angle here, we can just see them nice and big on this screen. But then other than that, this is the set. That is just the background over there. And then we've got these two soft boxes, a crazy microphone, an audio setup. And I would say if you drew a line about where I'm stood to that wall, this is about the size of the other office. And this is big as well, like you can stride across here all the way. Look, look, it's huge, mate. If I can possibly move that towards the back wall, that would be brilliant. I was thinking of making some sort of dope ass editing rig over there, or maybe in this corner, but this is where I really need your help. Obviously by the nature of a tech channel, there's videos that are recorded that are me just sat in a space. So it would be totally dope to have a tech flow set over there like it is now. And then have maybe a corner sofa in here and an awesome setup. But if you could let me know down in the comments your thoughts on what you think we could do with the space. Because like I say, I've had some ideas myself, but it'd be great to see what you guys are going to say. And the thing is, I think, to be honest, this is such a nice, inspiring space with all of this roof architecture and... I mean, look at all this wood. What's going on there? But like I said, I think it'd be a waste to uh, just have some wooden desks in this lovely room. Let me know your thoughts or any suggestions down in the comments. I'd appreciate it. This space is still boss ass, though. Like, I absolutely love it. The vibe in here is... So gym session all over and it is now dark, but I also want to go ahead and tell you guys No, on a real I want to say a huge thank you to everybody that loved the gym section in the last vlog I was really hesitant to put it in if you didn't see it I did a whole thing on on nutrition and what I kind of do before and after the gym And I included an entire gym session where I think we trained legs So again, thank you so much for all of the support on that now I want to talk to you guys about something something serious And that's this. Now, welcome to my gaming forward slash office forward slash work 
area. I've tried to make this desk functional for everything. We've got huge speakers for listening to music, but if that doesn't do, you can plug in a set of headphones into this. I've got a 100 hertz monitor there, which is perfect for gaming, and a 4K monitor here, which is perfect for editing. So Alex, you said perfect about 83,000 times then. What's wrong with the setup? And the problem, the problem is, is, is this? Not necessarily the computer itself, but Windows. I think the problem's Windows. Like, if you are a video editor, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. Working with Premiere Pro is just a nightmare. The program crashes, deletes all of the work that I've spent the last hour of my life on. Now this right here is my new little Dell 13-inch XPS laptop. I absolutely love it because it runs Windows, but I didn't buy this to do editing on. This laptop isn't for that. It's a 13-inch tiny little thing to do word processing and edit photos on the go. The annoying thing as well, Premiere Pro still sucks and I pay, I think, a thousand pounds a year for Premiere Pro. So if I'm gonna go back to making these videos on a more regular basis, I need something to rely on. Something that I can take with me. Or even something I can bring back here, plug into both of these monitors, speakers, DAC and mouse and keyboard. And essentially turn this into a creative beast. Because Windows just isn't cutting it. Literally, like I, I can't cut together videos because Premiere Pro is awful. I spoke to some of my friends here in the YouTube space and a lot of them have said, Alex, we use Macs, just get a Mac. And throughout the entirety of my successful daily vlogging career, I was editing it on a Mac, right? So I'm gonna go to Meadow Hall with G tonight. I haven't seen Jordan in ages. I'm super buzzed for that. Thought long and hard about this. Everybody's loving this new 16 inch MacBook Pro, aren't they? Everybody's saying it's the best thing Apple have ever made. So this is my idea, this is my plan. I'm gonna go to Meadow Hall tonight with Jordan, do a little bit of Christmas shopping, get some bits for the family, get a few bits for me, and hopefully, hopefully, if the price is right, I don't even know how much these things are, I think this is a no-brainer. <laughs> Yeah, when are you getting it wrapped? I've crashed my own too, really yeah, badly. No, you oh, no, I haven't, I haven't. I've just got a flat tire. Woo! Here we go, G, we're in, we're in, we're here. G, why are you wearing your joggy bottoms, G? We're only walking around Meadow We're only going around Meadow Hall, right. We're gonna go, first off, uh, clothes shopping or to Apple? Where? Apple. Apple. Applying any force to it, that's not good. Hopefully, it'll help you with your videos. Appreciate it. Cheers, guys. And nice to meet you guys. Cheers. Okay, super, super happy with the new purchase. Need to get it in the boot. There we are, lovely job. Right, G and I are going to go and do a little bit more shopping now because it's Christmas time, isn't it, G? What about Nando's as well? Uh, cheeky. What were you doing in the boot, G? Um, I fell. Good. Thank you ever so we always have a good time, don't we? Share what we've got, you here? Oh, we've got two cookies. We've got two cookies. You cannot leave Meadow Hall without cookies. Definitely feels thicker and heavier, which I actually like for some reason. Like, I like this thing being a bit more beefier. It's thick with two C's. And obviously, new keyboard is amazing as well. I'm absolutely loving this. To be honest with you guys, though, the keyboard on my new Dell XPS laptop is better than this, though. If I could, I would prefer to use Premiere Pro, but if it's not gonna work, I'll use Final Cut. I'm, I'm fine with that. But that's sick. That's enough of that for now, though. I'm gonna leave this because I've got a little project this evening that I need to work on. It's currently almost 11 o'clock, so it's perfect. There's gonna be no one around. So, back in the day, I used to absolutely love my Instagram game. I mean, heck, I was on top of it. I was taking and editing, like, crazy photos that moved 
where I was floating, taking inspiration from other people and applying it to my photos. I used to absolutely love going out and doing that. And I haven't done it literally all this year. <laughs> now, I unboxed a laptop on the vlog the other day. It was either the last vlog or the vlog before that. It was that. a Dell laptop, and they said they wanted to work on an Instagram photo with me, which is absolutely awesome. Like, I'm so down for that. The only problem is I need to go and take a cool picture. So tonight is Instagram mission time. Okay, this is the look that I'm going for. And as much as I absolutely love taking candid photos and uploading candid photos, like photos in the moment, I also love envisioning a shot and then going out and trying to take that shot. One of two things can happen. Number one is that you're happy and you get the result that you wanted. And the other is that it looks nothing in like you envisioned whatsoever and you have to tell yourself that you suck, but you learn from the lessons and move on. Okay, so I'm going for something a little bit weird. I want a really dark and eerie look, like down a corridor or something. And then literally have me there in my sports gear. Why would I be in sports gear under a street light looking all scary? Just doesn't go, does it? Oh, and I'm also, here's the kicker, gonna have the laptop in my hand as well as hopefully be floating. If I can pull this off, this will be sick. <laughs> Okay guys, I have to warn you, this place, it's not for the faint heart. This is a little bit of a scary thing coming down here by myself at this time of night. Oh my God, I'm going to die. Hopefully it makes a little bit of sense. Right, I'm gonna flick this A7R with a 20 mil F1.4 over to photo mode and uh, we'll see how I get on. Three, two, one. Okay, so there we go. And to make the photos seem slightly a little bit more professional, I bought the Elgato key light. I had it in the boot, just lighting me up here. Hopefully it looks super, super cool. Obviously, I haven't even edited it yet, so I'm gonna have to just wait and see. But hopefully, hopefully it was sick. Oh, Actually. The security man pulls up, doesn't he? And uh, obviously I'm like, oh, hey, bro, how are you doing? Because I'm obviously I'm just trying to be nice. I don't want to get told off. And then he was like, what are you doing? And I said, I'm taking photos. I'm a photographer. And he was cool about it, to be fair. He just said, yeah, nice car. And I said, thanks. And then I, I drove off. And just before we end today's video, I want to say a huge shout out to my sponsor, Squarespace. Guys, thank you for sponsoring me. I appreciate it. It's great being sponsored by a company that I just used before they sponsored me. Brilliant. You guys will probably know by now, but Squarespace is the online platform where you can go ahead and make a website and handle everything everything from making the website to all the tricky stuff like the domain so you can have like your name.co.uk or .com or whatever. Not only do they make the domain easy but actually making the website is super easy too because there's loads of templates on there so you just choose one, roll with it, upload all your own images and write all your own text and it's yours. They've got loads of templates on the website for when you're actually making the site itself so you can choose one, roll with it, upload all of your own images, put all your own text on there, make it yours, make it count. And because Squarespace are pretty cool they've hooked you guys up with a 10% off code. It's on screen now and I'll put it in the description so you can just go ahead and click away. And with that being said, guys, thank you so much for the support recently. I really appreciate that too. I love all your faces and I will see you in the next video. Guys, adios. Echo! Ha!